percent of you have had a manicure or a pedicure this What's year. That? So a lot of you are doing this. So you all need to be concerned about what we found. Dermatologist Dr. Amy Wexler is here to help us analyze these results. Play. We can have this back. Thanks for joining us, Michelle. Uh, I'm making make a movie. <laughs> what do you want? All kinds of assorted issues. Every week. What do you want? Really bad skin problems. 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 Every week. Really bad sometimes I have to drain and lance and there's a lot of stuff. What do you want? Uh, it's an important problem, so let's get right into it. Uh, the <laughs> the violations and more we found. <laughs> what do you want? Today. Thank you very much. We're going to be part of the program. We're going to talk about the okay, dangers. The number one horrible. danger is dirty tools. So, do you remember the Amy? Sure. So, can you check to see if the tools that the folks are using when they clean your fingers and toes are clean? They actually take them out what of the sealed bag after they sterilize them. So, every time that I go in to have my nails done, they come out of the bag. It makes you feel pretty good, yes. Especially since I see them at the end, every single month, I'm putting them in the sanitizer machine. So not the Wexler, what dangers are lurking on these tools? Well, there is E. coli bacteria. E. coli is found in our feces, and unfortunately, it was found on these instruments. And what happens is someone goes to the bathroom, doesn't wash their hands, has a manicure, the tools aren't cleaned, they're used on you. And then what does that look like in a human being? <laughs> well, it can cause really bad bacterial, fungal yeast infections on the finger. This is an example of that. Yes, not too pleasant, is it? Alright, so let's talk about what solutions are out there. Sure. One would be to look for this UV sterilizer, which thankfully it's in a lot of nail salons. And what they do is they just put the instruments right in here for five minutes. After one minute, most of the bacteria is dead. So that's a good way to do it. I think the best thing to do, purchase your own kit. Yeah. Right? It's inexpensive. You take it with you, take it home, clean it with alcohol or boiling water, and you're safe. Yeah, I could never under I would never operate on some of my own instruments. Seriously, I wouldn't. Why wouldn't all women do that, you think? Uh, maybe we don't know. To do it. Right. Well, now we do. That's yeah. step number one, right? The first danger. Come on over here. Okay. Danger number two is not about the instruments. It's about the pedicure tubs. And, uh, Tiffany, how often do you do pedicures? Once a week. Are you going to put your feet in those tubs? Yes. Did I'm going to put this up. You are. <laughs> I see if that made major impact on you. Well, I got a little concerned about these tubs because the ones we looked at, in our little investigation, we're not disinfected between customers. So basically, you're bathing your feet with those other customers, and you're rubbing your feet up together again. So, Dr. Wexler, what kind of problems can that cause? Sure. Well, they found atypical mycobacteria, fungus, yeast, bacteria in these tubs. Let me show you what one of these mycobacterium toe infections looks like. This is an impressive image. You may not forget. 